Hello guys, hope you're having a lovely day. I'm Dibyansh Agrawal and you're watching Tech University. Today in this video, I'm going to explain about another data science course uh, that goes by the name of MTech in Data Science and Engineering, which is offered by Bits Pelani. I'll be telling you about the job aspect, the career aspect, the program fees, program structure, how to apply and all this. So stay tuned to the last of this video to know all about this particular course. This particular course, MTech in Data Science and Engineering is offered by Bits Pilani, which is a well-known uh, institute in India, situated in Pilani, Rajasthan, although it has three more campuses in Dubai, Goa, and Hyderabad. But this particular program is offered by Bits Pilani under their WILP uh, courses. WILP stands for Work Integrated Learning Programs, which allows you to study while you are working. So it's a good course option for people who are thinking to go for a study while they are still working. So this is the landing page and on the very top they have written that the admissions will begin in August 2021. So the dates are nearing by. You need to prepare all the documents if you are willing to apply for this particular program. And you can always refer to the download brochure link. They have given the whole brochure as a PDF. If we scroll a little bit in this page, you will see they have written a little bit about data science and how data science is impacting the world and all that. And on the right side, you can see that the fees is 60,000 INR per semester. So it's a four semester course that is basically two years. So you'll have to pay a total tuition fee of 2,40,000 INRs. And they have given an option of paying using EMI with 0% interest. So that's a very good option. You can avail and uh, they have reassured that will programs are UGC approved. This is not the only program under will. They have other uh, programs as well. If we move forward a little bit, they have given a program highlights where they have told a little bit about their program and what can you expect from this program. So you don't have to study while you are in office. Uh, there is no constraint on you to study uh, full time. So this is what the benefit of this program is and the curriculum covers subjects which can lead you to very lucrative uh, career tracks like data science, data engineering and, and advanced analytics. They have a very well formed case study simulations, virtual labs and all that prepared by the experts and the professors at that university and uh, you can always attend the live weekly online lectures which are conducted during the weekend and due to this COVID-19 pandemic they have specifically given highlight to contactless and safe online exam facilities so that's one thing and finally you have to have a dissertation which allows you to apply concepts and techniques learned during the program you will eventually be becoming a part of coveted Bits Pilani alumni yeah. Network, uh, that's a good option for you. And if you scroll down a little bit, uh, again, they have given a reassurance that this particular program is UGC approved so that you don't need to worry about uh, if your degree would be valid or not uh, after you are passing out from this uh, course. Because many people might be thinking that while working, if you are studying, it's like a part time study, so I don't know what kind of degree will it be, will it be recognized. So you don't need to worry about that. It is UGC approved. University Grants Commission is the authority in India which lets universities grant degrees to the students. So if we talk about program curriculum, they have given a very beautifully explained program curriculum spread over four semesters and electives. So in the first semester, we'll be studying about data mining, mathematical foundations for data science. That would be mostly statistics, of course. And then you will be having data structures and algorithms and computer organization and systems. So four, four subjects for, for the first semester, similarly four subjects for third semester and second semester alike. And uh, in the second semester, you will be having one elective, other three will be the core courses. Finally, in the third semester, all will be electives and the fourth semester, you don't have to study anything. There will be just a dissertation. And here is the list of electives. This is the bucket from which you can choose your electives and make sure you choose electives based on what you want to do after you graduate from this course after that they have given a little bit a brief about all the courses that were written here uh, in one two lines so you can always refer to it otherwise if i explain in this video it will become long so i'm not going to discuss it then they have uh, explained the learning methodology that they, they always say that uh, they believe in experimental learning so they've been using tools and technologies like apache spark apache storm tableau tensorflow and uh, they have been teaching through case studies and assignments uh, so these case studies are carefully chosen by the well-established professors in their university and finally they say that dissertation is something that where you can apply your knowledge to know whether you are made for this particular career track or not and continuous assessment for each semester you will be appearing 
for two exams which is the comprehensive exam and a mid semester exam so both will be for two to three hours for each subject you will be having this mid semester and comprehensive exam comprehensive exam is nothing but end term exam what we say in layman terms and uh, apart from that you will have to appear for a quiz or an assignment in every semester for each course and also they say that they believe in supplementary learning so in addition to the weekly online lectures supplementary online sessions are also conducted and these include doubt clearing sessions in uh, interactions and industry talks there is a very high number 18 to 20 hours per semester so that's a good thing and they say you don't have to be you know a dedicated full-time student uh, to get this degree you can always attend lectures over weekend so there is no uh, constraint on you so this is one of the highlight basically okay they have also written that lectures are conducted on saturday sunday as per indian standard time so foreign students need to pay attention as to program timelines as they follow typical indian standard time so you need to be aware of that after that they have explained about industry talks so they have been calling people from the industry uh, on a frequent basis and even in this lockdown period see the kind of talks they have had in their campuses so for in march 2021 they had some talk on blockchain which was de uh, delivered by uh, the associate director at gainsight and there are other lot of industry talks that uh, that have been happening and see not only data science but see the kind of uh, variations that they have been providing there's this blockchain AIML database software development like cycle and 3d processing cellular v2x and cyber threat to all different things giving an overall uh, exposure to the master's candidate as for exams uh, they have uh, two options uh, you can either you can give the op uh, exams through online mode or you can give the exam on the designated examination center which i prefer you won't be if you are working but they have given an option so for online exam it will be a proctored exam with a very high standard and you will be appearing for those mid semesters and comprehensive exams to that as for designated exam centers they have the the examination centers at these cities bangalore chennai hyderabad pune mumbai goa delhi ncr pilani and kolkata and apart from that they have an examination center at dubai for international students if they wish to even indian students can go there but i don't think mm, the people would be going because giving examination at dubai you will have to pay an extra a fee of 1000 uae dirhams which corresponds to around 20000 INR. so that would not be an option i suppose uh, so the main thing eligibility criteria who are eligible to apply for this so they say the employed professionals who have a degree in btech be mca or msc with at least 60 percent in their degrees and they should have a minimum of one year of relevant work experience so undergraduates right out of the college are not eligible to apply but as soon as you gain one year of experience just one year of experience you will be eligible for that and they expect the applicants should have basic programming knowledge and uh, an adequate background in mathematics because there will be a lot of statistics that you will be working on as we talk about fee structure so uh, the semester fee is 60,000 per semester so for four semesters you will be having 2,40,000 INR and apart from that you will have to pay a one-time admission fees of 16,500 once you get selected and while you are applying you have you will have to pay an application fees of 1500 INR which is also a one-time fees after that you move on to uh, how to apply thing so they have their own login portal you have to make an account on their application center there are four basic steps on which you can apply on uh, on how to apply for that so the step one includes uh, filling and editing and finally submitting the application form after you do that you submit it and you download the application PDF for step three you will have to pay the application fee of 1500 using net banking debit card and credit card these are the three options that they have given and uh, finally you, you take a printout of the application form and there is an application form number at the top right corner which uh, basically indicates a uh, unique reference number for you to communicate with bits palani in the future uh, correspondence after that uh, in the application form on the page number three there is a section called employers consent form which basically you have to get it signed from one of your authorized uh, signatory of the company stating that they don't have any problem you pursuing any study course while you're working and uh, after that on 
the page number four there is a mentor consent form the mentor consent form needs to be signed by the mentor so you will be assigned a mentor for this course and uh, there is a link that they have given to let you know who can be the mentor so i just opened this link and it is blocked right now there is nothing on this link maybe perhaps because the applications aren't open and their mentors haven't been finalized so after that on page number five you will find a checklist of enclosures and attachments that allows you to make a list of what are the attachments that you need to submit to uh, while applying and you need to make the photocopies of those documents prepared in step four you have to upload all those documents uh, which are stated in the uh, checklist of attachments so these are the support document uh, extensions doc jpg zip pdf or docx and after that after you fill your application form and all the other uh, attachments the admissions team will of course uh, check go through this particular application and uh, will intimate the selected candidates within the two weeks of submission of the application so just the 14 days they will take 14 days to get to select the people finally there is a note that they have given that some candidates uh, may receive a link to take an online readiness evaluation from the admission cell this is a one hour objective type exercise uh, which will ascertain minimum mathematical and programming acumen needed to pursue the program so this is something which is not mandatory but it can come to few of you so you don't need to worry about that and uh, there is a 48 hours timeline for you to complete this uh, exam and also they have given a sample model paper they will be giving you a model sample paper through your mail it's not public uh, unfortunately uh, which will be uh, given to you within one week after you getting uh, after after your application after that they have given a batch profile so these are the companies that they have that that have hired through this program there is general electric apple salesforce mcafee deloitte verizon st electro electronics capgemini microsoft sap oracle siemens all of them are really really big brands so this is a course which uh, you should look out for and uh, then there is this faq section this particular question what kind of certificate will i receive at the end of the program so here's a screenshot that they have given and so it will be the degree of masters of technology so it will be nowhere written that you have completed a will program and all but you will be getting a masters of technology from brits palani a normal degree which any other masters of technology uh, candidate would be getting so this was it about uh, the bits m tech in data science and engineering program hope you like this video and uh, i guess uh, you would be enthusiastic to apply for this program so you need to be ready by august 2021 so apply for this program and let me know if you got selected and i'll be continuing to post other data science masters courses on this uh, channel so till then adios